AI is already transforming many industries and domains, such as healthcare, education, marketing, etc. But what do you think? Is AI going to completely replace coding? Some experts seem to think so. Say something and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap, the technology divide. He is not the only one that think that way. The CEO of Stability A also have the same vision about coding. I think, I think we always have to look at the unchanging between versus the inevitable. So an inevitable is 41% of all code on GitHub right now is AI generated. Wow. To six months. <laughs> ChatGPT can pass a Glue level 3 programmer exam and it will run pretty much on a MacBook or a phone. And that's in this years. year? This year, right now. Yeah. There are no programmers in five years. No programmers in five years. These videos show the vision of some tech leaders who believe that AI will take over coding in the near future. They claim that AI can generate code faster, better, and cheaper than human programmers. And they are not alone. The AI market size is expected to reach $407 billion by 2027. And AI is expected to see an annual growth rate of 37.3% from 2023 to 2030. This indicates the huge potential and influence of AI on the economy and society. But does this mean that we should stop coding and let AI do all the work? Not so fast. AI is not a magic bullet that can solve all the problems in software development. In fact, AI can introduce new challenges and risks that we need to be aware of and address. Let's take a closer look at how AI is changing coding and what it means for us as developers. One of the most visible signs of AI's impact on coding is the emergence of AI tools that assist developers with various aspects of programming and software development. These tools leverage advanced machine learning models, particularly large language models, LLMs, to understand and replicate the syntax, patterns, and paradigms found in human-generated code. The AI models powering these tools, like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, are trained on natural language text and source code from publicly available sources that include a diverse range of code examples. This training enables them to understand the nuances of various programming languages, coding styles, and common practices. As a result, the AI can generate code suggestions that are syntactically correct and contextually relevant based on input from developers. You may have seen a huge number of AI tools that generate code, like ChatGPT, Blackbox, Microsoft Copilot, Gemini 1.5, which was launched by Google recently, GitHub Copilot, and a huge number of VS Code extensions that help in writing code. Let's take Gemini 1.5 as an example. Gemini 1.5 is a new AI model from Google that can understand and generate code better than before. It can process more information at once, up to 1 million tokens, which is like 800,000 words across 100,000 lines of code, and provide helpful solutions, modifications, and explanations. They can save time and effort and improve productivity and quality, but these AI tools are not equally good at all development tasks, and the benefits are not evenly distributed. While they can be useful for beginners and experts alike, they can also reduce productivity on more complex tasks due to the time it takes to understand and review the generated code. Moreover, they can introduce new issues and challenges, such as limited understanding. Some of AI models lack a deep understanding of generated code, leading to incomplete or inaccurate results. For example, a study found that GitHub Copilot often produces incorrect or insecure code for. This means that developers still need to verify and test the generated code and cannot blindly trust the AI suggestions. Security vulnerabilities. AI generated code could be more prone to security vulnerabilities due to weaknesses in the generation process or underlying data. A real life example of a security vulnerability related to AI generated code comes from a research paper published in 2021, titled Adversarial Patching of Neural Networks for Generating 
vulnerable code. In this paper, researchers demonstrated how they could manipulate an AI code generation tool to produce code containing hidden vulnerabilities. This means that developers need to be careful and vigilant about the source and quality of the AI-generated code and apply best practices to ensure security and privacy. Ethical and Social Implications AI-generated code could have ethical and social implications, such as bias, discrimination, or unfairness, depending on the data and algorithms used to train the AI models. For example, an AI tool that generates code for facial recognition could inherit the biases and errors of the data it was trained on and produce code that discriminates against certain groups of people. This means that developers need to be aware and responsible for the ethical and social impact of the AI-generated code and follow ethical principles and guidelines to ensure fairness and accountability. So what does this all mean for us as developers? Is AI a friend or a foe for coding? How do we use AI tools in our projects? And what are the best practices to ensure the quality and security of AI-generated code? We believe that AI is a friend, not a foe, for coding. AI can make our work easier by automating tasks and saving time. But it can also introduce new challenges and risks that we need to be aware of and address. AI is not a replacement, but an augmentation for human programmers. We still need human creativity, logic, and judgment to design, develop, and maintain software systems. We still need human skills, such as communication, collaboration, and problem solving to work effectively with other developers and stakeholders. And we still need human values such as ethics, responsibility, and empathy to ensure that the software we create is beneficial and respectful for the society and the environment. Therefore, we suggest that developers adopt a mindset of continuous learning and improvement and embrace AI as a helpful tool, not a threat. We recommend that developers use AI tools wisely and responsibly and follow some best practices such as understand the strengths and limitations of AI tools and use them for appropriate tasks and contexts. Verify and test the AI-generated code and do not rely on it blindly or uncritically. Apply security and privacy measures to the AI-generated code and avoid exposing sensitive or confidential information. Consider the ethical and social implications of the AI-generated code and adhere to ethical principles and guidelines. By following these best practices, we can leverage the power and potential of AI to enhance our coding experience and outcomes while avoiding the pitfalls and risks of AI. We can also prepare ourselves and our organizations for the future of software development, where AI will play an increasingly important role. Tell me about your experience in the comment box if you have used any of these AI tools. Do you think they are capable of replacing programmers yet? How do you use AI tools in your projects? And what are the best practices to ensure the quality and security of AI-generated code? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on AI and coding. Thank you for watching and see you next time.